Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. There are two things that are not allowed at the Watershed Wellness Center. One of them is soft drinks, in particular Coca-Cola. You bring that in here and you're going to get it thrown right down the sink. And the other one is a microwave. I do not allow any kind of microwave at the watershed. You know, somebody like bought one and it showed up here and I went, what is this? You know, and then uh, anyway, it went back from where it was. We don't allow that at the watershed. Well, why not? Check out all my books on audible.com. Well, because the microwave is an extremely dangerous thing to have around, and here's why. Chronic consumption of microwave food causes brain damage by short-circuiting electrical impulses and depolarizing or demagnetizing brain tissue. Hormone production is significantly altered by the chronic consumption of microwave foods. Minerals and vegetables are altered into cancerous free radicals when cooked in microwave ovens. Microwave foods en enhances the growth of cancerous stomach and intestinal tumors. Chronic consumption of microwave food causes memory loss, concentration loss, emotional instability, and decrease in intelligence. Eating microwave foods uh, weakens the immune system and uh, causes deficiencies through the lymph gland and blood serum alterations. The human body cannot metabolize and absorb nutrients and byproducts from microwave foods because they are chemically altered in a way that un is unrecognized as nutrients by the body. That's pretty simple. Chronic consumption of microwave foods causes cancerous cells to develop in the blood. Microwaving human milk that's intended for breastfeeding babies chemically alters it, destroying some of the anti-disease uh, properties, the uh, all the antibodies um, that are in those mil in that breast milk. Um, and if you raise it up to a temperature of 150 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, you lose 96 percent of the A antibodies. This is the most important part of the breast milk, so don't use a microwave for that. Blood is routinely warm to body temperature before it's used in a transfusion. If you, if the person um, receiving a transfusion of blood that's been warmed through a microwave will die. Heating water to a boiling in a cup um, can cause the glass to explode if its surface is disrupted by any object such as a spoon. This has happened many, many times in the past. A glass of water and we're gonna drop a coin and see what happens. Water exploded. Microwaves work on the principle of alternating current, and so um, at the atoms in the in the molecules of what are you, you putting in there to microwave, their reverse polarity about a billion times a second. Well, this makes them totally susceptible to any kind of invasion, for whether it's uh, viruses, fungus, uh, bacteria, um, oxidation, anything anything can happen to these things because you've totally changed the subject. It's very, very dangerous when you microwave any kind of a substance. The Russians banned microwaves in 1976 after running studies on microwaves. And the Nazis, uh, they, they did the same thing right in World War II. They, uh, they started giving all their um, their foods and their rations and putting them on microwaves to the soldiers out in the fields and they all started getting cancer so they stopped it immediately and it wasn't until I think the, the 1980s or even you know after that that Russia began to allow the sale of microwaves in their in their country again. The Russians did research on thousands of workers exposed to microwaves to, when, during the development of radar and they coined the term microwave sickness because everybody that was exposed to these things got sick. 5G is essentially microwaves. If you take a microwave or you take a 5G, this is why birds fall out of the sky near, near, near 5G uh, poles. But if you take a microwave or, or say 5G and you turn it down and you point it at people, they'll just you know scream in pain and run away. It's unbelievable what microwaves will do to the human body. Down below, it will be a link to my blog and in the blog will have all the uh, the footnotes for everything that I made claims to in this video. But uh, microwaves, not allowed at the watershed, and now you know why, and you should never use one in your home. I mean, I took, uh, we had a little microwave destroying party at the old watershed years and years, years ago when I found out how bad they were. And that's what you should do. You should take your microwave and take it out back. and just beat the crap out of it and get yourself. If you're gonna cook food, which I recommend you don't do to begin with, uh, use a use a, just a conventional oven, but never, ever microwave your food. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. I've got four of my books now on Audible. 
the temple he was referring to was his body. Uh, it's uh, honoring your temple through natural health. My best book so far is The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. That's my most comprehensive book. I wrote that one last year. Silver, The Miracle Mineral, The End of Infectious Disease, um, How I Got Meningitis. That's on Audible. My biggest seller for sure, The Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, The Definitive Guide to the World's Healthiest Substance. I have sold thousands and thousands of those for years.